thank you for always stopping by. I really do appreciate you. Thank you. Please, if you haven't subscribed, could you please kindly click the subscribe button? If you have subscribed, Gloria Cheesy O is saying thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. So today, let's talk about how two ways you can use glass cup of water for your own good. Um, number one, we have talked about this several, several, several times. Do you know that glass cup of water, when you add um, sea salt to it, drop it at strategic places in your home, pray over it, do you know that it can absorb negative energies in your home? Yes. This is tested and confirmed. Now, some persons always ask when I make this video, must it be in a glass cup? Reason why we talk about glass cup is so that you will be able to see, view. Now, most times if it is a home that has much negative energies or a person that has much negative energies, after some time, the water will have so much bubbles, so, so much, like so much bubbles all around it, tiny, 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 tiny bubbles all around it. That way you will know that your house needs spiritual cleansing or you yourself need spiritual cleansing. For how long you can keep this water? Seven days, then dispose it. But today, let's talk about how you can use a glass cup of water and sea salt. Pray over it. If you have something that has been disturbing you, that has become a constant um, occurrence, you don't know what to do about it, or you feel someone is disturbing you and all that, you don't know what to do. Get a glass cup of water, add sea salt into it, and pray into it. Asking God to reveal to you whoever it is that is disturbing you, whatever it is, or what you need to do about a particular situation that has been bothering you. Now, remember something, align this with serious prayer and fasting because there are some things that will be disturbing or bothering you. Eh? You realize that even whatever it is may not want you to see that they are the one or is that I don't know how to put it but when you back it up with serious prayer and do this simple natural spiritual um, exercise by the grace of God if it is something God wants you to see he will reveal it to you add your sea salt into the glass cup of water and speak into it pray ask God to reveal to you how you are going to solve this problem ask God to reveal to you the source of this problem where you have gone wrong where the loophole is coming from you understand what i'm trying to say now when you know the source of your problem 50 percent it is solved what do you do with this glass cup of water just drop it at the edge of your bed your where you decide where you lay your head it's i'm not saying you should keep it on your bed before the water will turn over but if it's a stool or something it should just be decide where you lay your head where your head is you understand Keep this water for seven days or so. Within these seven days, observe your dream. You're going to have a revelatory dream, not that dream. Sometimes we keep saying or you know, thinking, oh, it's somebody that is doing you. It's some Meanwhile, there is nothing like somebody that is doing you or something. It could be something we have done we could not remember. Maybe someone we have offended we could not remember. And you begin to say people are doing you, people are not doing you. No, no, no. Not everything again is spiritual. Let's also have this at the back of our mind. That is why you need to pray. And by the grace of God, God will reveal whatever it is to you and how you are going to go about it. Try this simple method using salt and sorry, using water and sea salt prayerfully. And I tell you, you will thank God you did. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate you. It's not another person, but Gloria Cheesy O. Thank you.